it's really cold today it's about two degrees celsius but the wind oh, it takes the skin off your face definitely down jacket weather so we're out out in the glorious peak district fabulous day So today I thought I'd talk a little bit about downfill jackets, more specifically the two that I use from Decathlon. The views today are absolutely stunning. So if you've ever looked at buying a down jacket, you've probably seen that they cost an arm and a leg to buy. You don't get much change from a couple of hundred quid. And when I was looking for a down jacket, I didn't want to pay that kind of money. So I went down to my local decathlon store and picked up a Trek 100, which is one of the lighter down jackets. And it only cost me 40 quid. So I've had that one a few years and it's been brilliant for use around camp to around zero degrees Celsius. Found a little bit of refuge there. No, I don't think so. <laughs> so you ready for a brew? It's not a bad place to stop for a drink. Using a brand new stove today. Um, not allowed to show it yet. It's not available to buy yet, so make sure you watch my next video if you want to see that in action. Trying to protect the microphone a little bit from the wind. So you know it's windy when the waterfalls start blowing back up. So why might you want to get yourself a down jacket anyway, uh, as opposed to getting something that is synthetic insulation? So down insulation has probably the best warmth to weight ratio. So you know, for what the garment weighs, you get a lot more warmth compared to any other type of material. It does tend to make you look like the Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters though. And if you get the down inside your jacket wet, it offers virtually zero insulation as it just flattens down and clumps up and you know, all the fibers don't trap all of that warm air. So for 40 quid, the Trek 100 is a really good jacket. It keeps you warm. But is it as good as the more expensive jackets and what are the differences? So some of the top brands like your Rabs and Mountain Equipment, they're going to use some better materials than are used in some of the cheaper jackets like those from Decathlon. And as well as better all-round materials, the top end brands tend to use a better quality of down insulation as well. This jacket's got a 660 Kuin down fill, whereas you know, something that Rab might do may have an 850 or even 900 fill down so you get better insulation for less down and weight the decathlon jackets that i've got you know they're not very good when it comes to water repellency whereas some of the rab jackets for example they'll be using a pertex shield coating so that'll give you much more weather resistance so this is not ideal if i'm wearing it and it's raining some of the leading brands also are the ones that develop all the technology as well so they have a lot of investment in the first place and they need to recoup some of that hence the reason that some of their prices are higher but for sure sometimes when you're buying branded goods you are paying a little bit for that little badge that goes on your jacket or on your car or whatever it might be so there are a lot of us that are happy to buy things because of the brand's reputation and its name so a few months back I upgraded my decathlon down jacket to the 4 class 900 um, and I'm really happy with this purchase. I got it in the sale and I only paid 50 quid for it um, but the newer model that they've got out now 
is 79.99 and these things keep you toasty warm so this particular one has been tested down to minus 18 degrees celsius if you're wearing it actively so if you're walking around and hiking it should still keep you warm the jacket is also rds certified so that means that the down inside the jacket um, is responsibly sourced with the rds standard decathlon have full traceability so they know exactly where the the down filling has come from and that the down is sourced in a humane way so as i mentioned this is last year's model has got uh, a fully waterproof shoulders and hood both this version and the newer version have a dwr coating on them which does give them some water resistance but if you're in really heavy downpours i recommend you put a raincoat on top so if it does start to get a little bit warm the jacket does come with pit zips so you can allow a little bit of fresh air in there just show you it with the hood up take the hat off oh no microphone's in the way you like my little pom-pom so that's the hood um, it's not the best fit in the hood let me get my hat back on so when it comes to how the jacket fits I think that's where brands like Rab and Mountain Equipment they definitely excel um, you know their jackets are cut a lot better um, however if you just want something that's going to keep you really warm and you really can't go wrong with one of these. So in summary, I definitely recommend you try one of the Decathlon down jackets. They're really good value for money. Decathlon also have one of the best warranties and guarantees in the business so if you have any issues with it within two years i think this product is just take it back they'll exchange it or give you your money back if you check out their website there's instructions on how to wash your down jacket and how to retreat the dwr water repellent coating so it's well worth looking at if you don't want to shell out a couple of hundred quid on a down jacket i'll leave you with the stunning views of the peak district hope you found the video useful if you've tried any of the decathlon products let me know in the comments below how you get on with it and i'll see you next time